related lists. Yes, we can handle related lists as well. So we've seen lookups already, now related lists. Let's use the products in our opportunity. On our opportunity, we have two products. And uh, for the sake of argument, we let the customer decide if he wants a discount or not. So we're going to use this one to, do, uh, to check this checkbox if he wants an, uh, a discount. OK, let's uh, go and set this up. So we have in our uh, document already a table where we want to list these products. So that will look just fine. And now we just want to uh, get this data filled. So we have already our opportunity products here. And what I'm going to do is first create a table row on our opportunity products. And that's that. Next up, yeah, I'm going to create a couple of uh, single uh, config types for the product name. So, OK, it's going to be the, uh, um, the name and the product name. OK, then the quantity I want to fill here. So just to prove that you can just mix and match um, single and single for form field without any problems. And this is the quantity. It will, so it will go for formatting. Just say, OK, I don't want to have any uh, digits after the, uh, the decimal separator. OK, and next up, we're going to go for our discount. So this is a checkbox. And in this checkbox, what I want is um, do this. OK, and I have, of course, the single for form fields. I'm going to go for the, uh, uh, the discount. Yeah, no, sorry, it's there. Has discount. And I'm going to go for the merge field, say that it's a checkbox. The uh, checked value is going to be true. The unchecked value is going to be false. OK, cool. Let's do that. That should actually already set up my entire document. So let's go and for a test. Oh, I'm going to go back to my opportunity and run the document. So now I see every data is filled and I have my checkboxes right here. Of course, what I see is that the checkboxes are uh, aligned to the right and um, yeah, that they are maybe a little bit too big for my uh, forms. So I can just say now I'm going to improve my table design and in the table design, I'm going to put everything in the middle and I'll make it also a little bit bigger. Okay, upload my file again, form builder safe. And then if we test this again, see it already looks much better. So none of these get a discount at this moment. So uh, yeah, let's uh, now go into the next steps to make sure everything gets filled and that actually we can update this data via the form butler.